Welcome everyone. This is Richard Tunes, author of How to Get Your Life Back from Morgellons, Chronic Lyme, and Other Skin Parasites. This 31st day of October, Halloween. We should have a scary outfit on. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, the topic today is what have you been doing? <clears throat> well, Obviously, those of you who are brand new to the program, and I imagine about half of you are, or maybe more, uh, you, you haven't been doing anything yet because uh, you have yet to read the book and uh, get get started. Uh, others, though, you know, uh, it, the, the, uh, as soon as you put your email in and your first name, within there's an important email that comes out to you. It's the very first email. Super important. It's got so much information in it. First of all, there's a link to download the free book. There's a link to stage one of the diet. There's a link to an order to tell you all about what we do and the free services that are available and how we are here to help you from A to Z. Uh, there's even a link that discusses the diet and its importance. So that email is important, and I think some people just kind of toss it away and don't look at it or whatever, but it, it's important to go through that email because that's a layout of the entire program. It's the roadmap to your success. It really is. It's the roadmap to your success. And this roadmap shows up in the work that we do here on our Sunday calls. It shows up in the orientation video. I mean, we're quite repetitive because repetition produces results. That's the bottom line. Repetition produces results. So the first thing, really, once you get that email, is to download that book. Now, next thing, you go to Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. They are the most important part of the program. Chapter four is this diet. You know, this program, I make no bones about it, the diet is the crux of the program. If you cannot make that diet work, you know, you know okay, we go on a diet and it's very strict, and but the bottom line is it's important for you to make that diet work. And you're going to hear me say that time and time again. And if you listen to last week's video, which is not up on YouTube, by the way, there are a couple of people who testified their own experience in making the diet work. They went outside the box, so to speak, and they made the diet work, and the results are amazing, phenomenal for them. They're getting their lives back. So that's number one. Make that diet work. Now, if you happen to have ordered the Nature's Gift, the Briding Soap, which some of you or brand new may be on the program and are uh, looking at a new version of our marketing where it's marketed as Cune's brand Morgellons cleansing solution, same thing. The, that stuff is powerful, but it's not going to make much difference if you are still a walking, talking, breathing machine, and that's what the diet is about. Now, the FDA requires me to inform everybody that before you start this incredible diet, it's very strict, very healthy, by the way. It can also be very unhealthy because you can eat hamburger on this diet. So if you eat nothing but hamburgers, you all right, uh, it's going to be unhealthy. But it's, it can be very healthy, greens, vegetables, leafy vegetables, uh, great sources of protein. Well, anyway, so... Before you start this incredible diet, before you accept any of my recommendations or any of the coaches that you may work with, you are to discuss them with your doctor to make sure they do not interfere with any health problems you're presently experiencing. That's what the AMA says, uh, the FDA. Now, the FDA, the AMA wants to make sure, because none of us, me or any of my coaches that work with us, who devote their time are trained physicians. So 
we are not educated and we cannot or not we do not legally we do not diagnose you we do not uh, cure or treat you or mitigate any disease whatsoever skin disease or whatsoever uh, what we are allowed to do by law is to educate you how to utilize the diet to your benefit how to clean them out of your skin and how to clean them out of your environment and to share with you the targeted supplements to build health and immune functioning that we often talk about. Okay, so that's what everybody starts out with, with this email to download the book. And, you know, I, uh, this happens occasionally. Uh, somebody will write me an email out of the blue. Now, when you, part of the program is you can write me emails with questions, please. If you don't hear back from me, it's probably because you wrote an email that long with a story and a story and a story. And, hey, uh, you know, the fine print, and believe me, it could take me a week or two to even get around to reading it if I ever read it at all. So you, you probably go into the can. So uh, only short emails, one or two paragraphs, get to the point. Everybody has a story. In fact, the ones that are long and laborious like this, I put them into a story file because one day maybe we'll publish a book called The Stories of Morgallons, but it may never get read until then. So please, I encourage you to email me questions, but keep them short. Keep them short. You know, My time, I don't charge to re uh, read them, and I don't charge to uh, answer the questions. Okay? So... Uh, respect my time, please, and I will provide you the answers that you're looking for. If I don't know the answers, I go do research. So you may not get an email back from me for a day or two. Uh, on the other hand, you may get an email back from me within seconds. And wow, great, that's great service. Well, we do good work here. And anyway, so out of the blue, the people might send me an email, and it could be short, like, uh, what do I do with these things that are happening in my head? No, that's it. That's the only thing the email says. Robin, what, what questions run through your mind when you get an email like that? What, what, what might you ask? Um, have you read the book? Are you on the diet? What are you currently doing? Right. Well, exactly. The first thing I do is I do a return and copy the email and go into the database and see if they are in the database. And you know what? These people have been in the database a year or two years. <laughs> and then my question is, well, what the hell have you been doing for two years? You've been getting the emails. You've been getting the updates. We have the program here for you. And out of the blue, you send me, I don't know if you're on the diet. I don't know if you've read the book. I don't know if you're taking any of the supplements or the targeted supplements. I know nothing. I don't have an answer. There's a questionnaire. That's also part of the very first email that you get. It's a link to a questionnaire. You complete that questionnaire and send it in to me, and I will evaluate it and send you back detailed recommendations. So, you know, this is about work. And emails like that, I'm sure I'll keep getting them because not everybody's going to be listening to this call, but uh, we can't read, I can't read your mind. I don't know if you, now it might, it could have been different, like, okay, I've got this happening, but, you know, I've been on the diet, the diet has not kicked in, I have trouble getting the diet to kick in. Uh, you know, that's something that I can comment on. That's something, but, gee, i got this going, I know nothing. I don't know if you read the book, if you're on the diet, or anything. Another source of great information, uh, do you have any idea how many Facebook groups there are about Morgallons, Robin? No clue. No. There are a hell of a lot of them. I mean, I a, a hell of a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, and every now and then I, I, I try to unsubscribe for these things, but I still get it. And... and one was a question here, I, I, and I love this answer. Uh, the question was about, okay, how, how do I get rid of Morgellons? Well, this, this woman that wrote back was right on target. 
And her first question is right there, right where we say, what, right where I suggest you go. All you can do is try eating and drinking things that will kill the parasites and worms. Hey, isn't that super? Isn't that what we've been saying? Isn't that what the King Diet is about? Yeah. Sounds like she's on the right track, right? In addition to the vinegar, eat pumpkin seeds. Oh, my God. <laughs> How about that? Huh. Okay, vinegar, you, you know, this demonstrates the ignorance. Vinegar is fantastic consuming organic apple cider vinegar with a mother if you only have more gallons. But 90% of the people who I work with are also dealing with Columba Law, and organic apple cider vinegar is going to feed those guys so you might help with one problem, and you're going to drive uh, the springtails crazy because they love apple cider vinegar. Drink celery juice. Well, that's good. That's great. Uh, or, or just eat celery. And eat, oh, watch this one. Eat fermented foods. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, why give advice when you don't know what you're talking about? Fermented foods? There are no fermented foods in stage one of the diet. And when you get into stage two, okay, you can have some cheeses perhaps. But if you're also dealing with candida, hey, forget it. Forget anything fermented. Forget any cheese or anything like that. If you're also dealing with ferment, you know, why do people give advice when they don't know what they're talking about or have limited experience? Do lymphatic drainage massages to open a pathway so those toxins can pass freely through. That's great advice. That's good. Uh, no sugars or processed foods. Otherwise, they'll keep thriving and have something to feed on. Hey, right on. You probably know this already since you're on the right path. Okay. So, all right. So, maybe half of what she said is okay. The other half is just a total waste of time and going to be counterproductive. So, well, uh, you know, and, a and of, the problem... A lot of the advice that these people give, they take generic advice. Like, yeah, apple cider vinegar can be really healthy, but not if you have more gallons. They just take these generic things that they think are good and throw them into the mix, you know? Which is Yes, and you would think they're getting results, but how can they be getting results if they're eating these things? They can't be. They, you know, they're, they're fighting themselves. It's like trying to swim uphill, upriver. You just go nowhere. So uh, be cautious. Now, a lot of people get into this program and start progressing, and I don't know if it's not fast enough or if they're just not – really getting into it, but they start looking elsewhere. You, you've said that. You've shared that, Robin. They, you know, they start looking elsewhere for another. What, what's your experience? How many people have you had that have uh, said, oh, well, uh, I found this or I found that? All of the people I have coached have done that. Everyone does that, but the problem is, is that they spend so much time trying things like I have one person I'm coaching it's been almost a year the diets never kicks in for her fully but she keeps adding supplements that have ingredients that totally stop the diet in its tracks and she just ignores that because they're supposed to be good for parasites or whatever and, you know, she keeps finding new things, but it's not going to work. And I finally have uh, been right. talking to her about starting from scratch, getting rid of all the other stuff, and giving it time, you know. But everyone's in a hurry. We live in the... Instant everybody's in a hurry, and everybody, is, everybody wants to do their own research, and I remember uh, Marge, one of the people that, that's been with the program for a long time, she loves to research things. She sends me articles that she finds for me to take a look at. And she found that 
Uh, there is an article about papaya seeds being really fantastic as an anti-parasitic. So she goes off. I mean, she's very strict with the diet. She no, the diet works wonderful for her when she's strict with it. And she goes and buys papaya seeds and starts taking papaya seeds. And what happens? Three days later, wonder well, why why am I getting all these specks coming out of my body again? Why are you doing? Yeah, I hey, know, and it's so hard. They don't read, relate it to the diet. They have a hard time no. comprehending that body is going to affect, 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 affect their skin. It's it, so, it, a disconnect. Please, the research is in the book. The research is in the book. Do not, do not mix other protocols. It, it, it's sort of like uh, uh, hiring two contractors and, and then you have a, a problem with your roof leaking and you go to the gutter guy and say, hey, my roof is leaking. It must be your fault because I had the roof on. But, and you, you get just tossed back and forth and there's no answer. No answer. So do not mix protocols. Do not. I'm not saying don't discover new things, as some people do, and Robin has discovered many things, and, and is one of the reasons why she's my co-host, but she built it off of what she's learned through the book and learned in working with us. So uh, everything we do has been as a result of others sharing things that work. So don't go running off trying something to see if it will work. Only run off and do it if you already know it works or if you've already... Uh, heard about it here and found that it works, but just don't go. Oh, papaya seeds! I should go buy some, and because I got I got other parasites too, and, and it's swimming up river, swimming up river. You'll get well, nowhere. And the thing is, it's good. it's always good to do your own research. You don't want to just take someone's word for something. But in terms of the book and the programs in the book. You do your own research by trying it, right? So the first thing you want to try are the protocols in the book. And you want to figure out if they don't work what you're doing wrong before you throw the baby out with the bathwater, as it were. And then if you want to research other things, that's fine. But you need a foundation of stability to start from. And that's what, the, that's what these protocols will give you. That's exactly right. Make the diet work. So that's where you start. And until you make the diet work, it's a waste of time looking at anything else, uh, even a waste of time taking the supplements or uh, purchasing the debriding soap or the Morgellons cleanse solution, really. When the diet works, they synergistically come together. And if you're looking into other supplements, Read the label and then go to the diet. All of the, the additives that they put in these supplements, whether it's diglycerides or uh, uh, lecithin and, and stabilizers, they're all listed in the diet as stay away from them. They're going to feed the parasites. You might think that, well, it doesn't matter that I just have a little bit of triglyceride. Hey, it does matter. It's a big deal. And as Robin said in the beginning, the diet is non-forgiving. You mess up, and you're not on the diet. You just are not on the diet. Uh, I just wanted to clear up two things before we close this segment. Uh, last week, uh, someone uh, had asked, we were talking about uh, uh, Lyme disease last week. And someone had asked about uh, <clears throat> L-lysine, and I wasn't into what she was saying. Lyme disease, to me, says glutathione. And I talked about building glutathione and ignored that she was talking about L-lysine, which is not has nothing to do with building glutathione. L-lysine is um, a substance of protein that you take for uh, dealing with canker sores and, and viral things. What she really meant was L-cysteine. L-cysteine 
is the limiting molecule to build glutathione. And she was, uh, you know, now as I think back, she was referring to, you can go online and you can buy the L-cysteine as a powder, in powder form, very inexpensively. Now, the Max One product, which is the best in the world uh, to boost glutathione, is L-cysteine bonded with D-ribose, a very... Very fine, uh, high-grade sugar, natural sugar. It's not like sucrose or dextrose, which are going to feed the parasites. It's not like L-glutamine, which we use for uh, uh, building the uh, mucosa in the stomach, uh, their natural food. And you can buy these powders individually and very inexpensively. The problem is, for some reason or other, it doesn't get into the cellular structure like the uh, the effect of having the MAX-1, which is bonded L-cysteine, L, uh, L-cysteine and D-ribose. So if you go to the approach that, well, I can uh, save a lot of money by buying these uh, powders, the uh, L-cysteine and the D-ribose individually, and consume them that way to build my glutathione, you're, you're not going to be pleasantly surprised. You know, it, it may go up somewhat, uh, but it's not going to be uh, the same impact as taking them individually. An- another point that I uh, had a uh, memory of a brain fart last week, I had read about this, uh, this product uh, called Navage, and Andrea uh, bailed me out this week and sent me a, a reminder as to what it is. She's been using it. It's a, uh, a device that you purchase and it, it's rather amazing. I, I just learned about it last week, uh, saw, seeing one of the commercials. But it has a tank. You can go on YouTube and you can uh, go on how to use Navage nasal. But we always talk, you know, many people have nasal issues with the organisms getting up in the nose. And for the most part, we talk about, oh, uh, soak a cotton ball with some NG and put it up your nose. and. That has worked for many people, and they've gotten rid of it. But this device might be uh, an incredible. It, it uh, so it has a uh, chamber where you put in saline water. And you have capsules that you you uh, you put in the device and crush, which gets into the water. And I would imagine you can add a drop of uh, NG in in with the uh, saline water, and it circulates. When you turn it on, it circulates the water in one nostril and pulls it out the other nostril. So it cleans your nasal cavity, which is pretty cool. And then you can turn it around and uh, reverse it and put it in the other nostril and pull it out the other nostril. So that product is called interested in it. Uh, We're going to look into it and see uh, if we can perhaps add it to the store so people won't have to go around hunting for it. So, yes, uh, Robin. There's also a nasal rinse that you can get called Alcolol, A-L-C-O-L-O-L, and it does the same thing. It has a little thing. You put it in one side, it tilts your head, and it comes out the other, and it's and it comes out the other cavity, and then you do it the other way. Um, and, I mean, it's not a device. It's just... Yeah, and uh, they sell it at drugstores, and sometimes you have to go to the pharmacy to get it. You don't need a prescription, but it's really effective. It's very helpful as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, about how much does it cost, do you know? $7 for a big bottle. Oh, it, it's just a bottle of, of uh, stuff that you put in? Is that how you work? You squeeze it in? Usually it comes with a little... Thing that you can tilt into your nose and then you like breathe out on one side then you do it to the other side and it's it's a liquid that right. that uh, cleanses so you, you do it more manually you do it more manually yeah right. okay and I know people have also uh, using the uh, our nature's gift mouthwash they have uh, drawn it up into their nasal cavities as well uh, to help clean them so uh, We're learning more about uh, cleaning the nasal cavities as, as we go along.